Come on, let's go to your house. I'll turn off the lights. I always think this is the spookiest room in the dark. Don't start your ghost story, Luna. I'm not. I was just thinking of Rory up here tonight, all on his own. Rory's staying here on his own? Yes, but you're not to tell Aunt Vera. Supposing he was up here in bed, and he heard a noise downstairs, and footsteps coming up the stairs, and someone groaning. He'd hide under the bed. Supposing the attic door opened slowly. And three figures appeared with masks on their faces. He'd die. No, he wouldn't die. He'd yell his head off and scream, help, help. And the three figures would take their masks off and it would be us. Us? It would certainly shut him up for a while. Wouldn't it just? <laughs> She told me to lock up. I said I would. When will she be back? Tomorrow evening. Sure you'll be okay, Rory? You're so boring, Una. Do you know that? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Just hurry up and go. Can I have a sausage, Rory? We're having tea in my house. Bye, Rory. Sleep tight. Don't let the bugs bite. Don't eat too much, Rory. You'll give yourself nightmares. I had a nightmare last night about... Very funny. You're letting your sausages burn, Rory. My sausages are fine. Bye-bye, Rory. Bye, Rory. Bye, Rory. Bye. Shut the door after you. The eagles shriek, the blue whales cry. The forests of the earth will die. The forests of the earth will die. another sausage now. I'll keep the rest for breakfast. I'll do the washing up tomorrow. It's great being on your own. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. I wonder what Ellen and Una are doing. Dressing up and talking in put-on voices and bossing the life out of Liam. I'm glad I got out of that. Back to bed. I'll check the back door first. said it was in the lock. Oh, she must have taken it with her by mistake. What will I do? I'll push the kitchen table up against the door and make a barricade. It won't stop burglars, but at least I've heard them. And if they make a big noise, they might get frightened and run off. I'd better take something upstairs with me just in case. A weapon. Something to defend myself with. Something I could hit a burglar with. We haven't got anything really. I wish I played hurling. Ah! Aunt Thera's rolling pin. This'll do the trick. I wish Aunt Vera hadn't taken the back door key. Any 
anyone could push their way in. I leave my light on just in case I have to get up quickly. until tomorrow night. And she's left you all on your own. Well, no, I, I mean, yes. It seems to me, young Rory, as though the finger of suspicion, so to speak, is now pointing at you. She thinks I'm at a friend's house. So you told your auntie a lie to get her out of your way. What are you up to? Nothing. I had to do it. Because my sister and her friend said I was afraid to stay on my own. Ah, now I have you. Women, they're at the root of all our troubles, Rory. They're a pain in the neck. Perfectly put. Though, your Aunt Vera now, she's different. She's in a class of her own. Will you tell her that you found me here? I will not. Would you like a few more sausages? Game I'll have to buy more sausages and bread tomorrow. Fergie's eaten everything in the kitchen. And he never stops talking. Whew, I'm tired. At least I'll sleep now. <coughs> Game ball, Fergie. <sighs> Game ball. Remember, 
no noise till we're in the attic. Then bang and crash as hard as you can. Oh, I can't wait to see his face. Where's my saucepan? On the counter. What are you doing now, Ellen? You make the noise, I'll give him a donkey. Put your hands up. <laughs> now, when I say so, I want you to turn around very slowly. Please, don't shoot. Please, don't. We're only children. I like shooting children. Oh, my brother's upstairs. He'll get the police. He's probably gone for the police already. He's not going anywhere. Oh, he shot Rory. Oh, no. Turn around. Slowly. <gasps> Rory. You're alive. How dare you frighten us like that? How dare I frighten you? We were only going to give you a little fright. That was a really nasty fright you gave us. Perhaps I was a bit hard on you. I didn't realize you were only children. Rory Fagan. You... You, you're a, you're a beast. Off you go home now. There's a good girl. It's past your bedtime. <laughs> that should shut Luna Brophy up for a while. She was fit to burst with temper. Great. Oh, I'm so tired. He's shot Rory. have come back. But look, saucepan lid, a saucepan, spoons, broken glass. It looks like the house has been ransacked by lunatics. What was this rolling pin you'd better get lost? <gasps> Aunt Vera, what are you doing here? I thought you'd gone for the night. Mrs. Cassidy had her dates wrong, Rory, but that's beside the point. The real question is, what are you doing here? <laughs>